to Team 3's final analysis of Delta Signal's uh, company simulation. So when we were beginning our project, uh, we needed to create a strategy, one that the company uh, did lack in years one and two, and that was able, um, that was reflected in our income statements. So moving forward into years three and four, what we really wanted to make sure we focused on was creating more reliable and affordable cars for our customers. Um, and our big focus was on the economy making sure that we have low lifetime cost. So um, years one and two, that wasn't something that management really kept in mind. Uh, some of our objectives did not properly align with the overall mission of the company. So that was something that we really wanted to try and improve on uh, moving through years three and four, especially when the customers provided us the feedback that um, we didn't have a great reputation for having the, the reliable cars. And that's kind of where a lot of their, um, uh, their opinions were based off of. Um, they wouldn't take a look at the cars based on um, our past experience. We were um, allotted a $25 million budget and the goal is to see where we can improve our finances. Um, Moving into three and four, we definitely wanted to make sure that the initiatives were properly aligned with the objectives, which again was something that we kind of failed to do um, in the first two years. And like I had said, that definitely reflected in the income statements in the overall um, revenue of the company. And phase three is where we implemented these changes. We, um, we really analyzed any areas that we had made some mistakes. And um, you know the reason why we really wanted to make sure we analyzed correctly is to ensure the shareholders that this company is profitable. So in making sure that we had the right strategy in place, we created our strategy map. So from a financial standpoint, we wanted to increase dividends per share, increase earnings per share, improve our gross margin, improve operating income, increase sales, and maximize earnings per share over time. Now, um, if management had the opportunity to um, replan their strategy map, I don't think I would have necessarily uh, wanted to keep a focus on the increased dividends per share, increased earnings per share, um, along with maximize earnings per share over time, because right now the overall goal was to improve the gross margins, improve our, improve our income statement, and the overall quality of the product. When we took a look at our customers, um, our strategy was to align the goals with customer strategic objectives, competitive pricing for our customers, and increased financial ties with our customers. We then created our strategy map for our internal process. So we looked at highly effective new product development, improved durability of parts produced, improved supplier efficiency, offer high performance products, and supplier onsite engagement in quality programs. So again, um, some areas that maybe we should not have really put a high focus on was the highly effective new product development um, and uh, offer high performance products. Uh, just because again, um, we're, we're really looking at um, building the company kind of from ground up since we really lacked, um, our market really took a dip from the quality of products that we put out onto the market. We then took a look at our learning and growth. So we wanted to align employees with our balance scorecard objectives, align our research and development department with strategic initiatives, improve the quality of suppliers, and make quality a priority for all employees. So now we wanted to take a look at our balance scorecard and see how are we going to uh, put this strategy into effect.
So from a financial standpoint, years one and two, um, like we had stated earlier, there wasn't much strategy behind um, where we were allocating our budget. And that really, um, that showed in our financial portion of the balanced scorecard because the initiatives did not match the objectives at all. So um, we knew that there were some areas that we needed to have more of a strategy of where money was going to be placed moving into years three and four. So we really took a look at um, what areas were plateau and very stagnant and um, those areas are where we um, moved the money around in order to create these outcomes. When we look at the customer balance scorecard, um, years one and two, we didn't really have um, the initiatives, objectives matched up. So um, when we were able to analyze that data on the income statement, uh, we, we really made the improvements of making sure that the different programs that were offered had the right budget in place for them. And we were able to see that um, the big areas where the competitive pricing for customers and the increased financial ties, that's where we saw the biggest improvements based on the, the couple changes that we had made. Our internal process, we were able to see um, some good spikes, especially with the um, improved dur durability of products produced and improved supplier efficiency. Um, this, this was a, a great start um, for us because this was able to help us put better cars out on the market, which was incre increasing more um, attraction to the company based on um, the different programs we were able to offer our employees and where we really spent our time as well. So from our learning and growth, um, this is where we really saw the biggest spike and this is how um, we believe that this was making the, the biggest impact on the company. So because we actually, again, took a look at where the money was being placed in years one and two, it made no sense. And um, now that we looked at where to better place the money, we were able to see the increase, the understanding from the employees, um, them really having the right resources in place was able to help them uh, be put in a better position to create the products that we were ultimately looking for. So here's the analysis, and, and we're highlighting the areas that, um, based on our team's uh, strategic mapping of the, of the income statement, we were really able to see these positive increases. So the, the biggest one here is we saw a 10% increase in sales, and that was really in um, correlation with making sure that the customers were taken care of, they had the price protection program, which we were able to see that they really enjoyed. We were able to increase our revenue um, right there. And um, along with the, the different dedicated investments that we had provided them as well to make sure that we were providing them affordable cars as well. We also saw a 9% increase in cost of sales. Um, we decided to really allocate the money into a supplier quality engineer on site, getting a quality awareness internal communication program set up. Um, so we were able to um, make sure our staff was best equipped. We also had a 15% increase in our gross margins. So some of the areas that we started to really sink some of our money into was a supplier quality data feedback program. We had a company-wide Six Sigma training balance scorecard communication program where we were able to see um, all of these positive trends. We also had a 65% increase in our operating income. Um, that was really had an effect from the R&D process efficiency um, supplier optimization program and the quality engineer that we also put on site as well. And the, the last couple parts that we really looked at um, to 
uh, where we saw the increase was our net income. We had 113%. So um, that was in due to having promotion of corporate training programs, warranty data analysis. Um, we also had a 16% increase in our start stock market value. Um, we were able to show that the company was becoming more profitable based on um, aligning our goals and initiatives um, better, that they were more hand-in-hand. -hand. Our dividends and dividends per share, th those just um, increased by 100%. So we were actually able to ensure our shareholders that um, – our company was growing. We were looking to become more prosperous. Uh, we're also showing that this positive trend we can maintain. Um, I do know from periods uh, six through eight, we because of the positive in, um, increase that we were seeing, we decided that um, to leave the money in the the areas that were attracting these positive trends on our income statement because um, we kind of had the the theory of, well, if we're seeing the positive trends, then we must be doing something right. And that's how we were able to get um, this almost 180 from years one and two moving into three and four. So thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you all have a wonderful uh, rest of the year. Thanks so much.